Hey guys, out and about, uh, working some, probably my last trade. I think once I get over 700 today, I'm trading really light. It's between Christmas and New Year, kind of out and about, trading from, so anyhow, yeah, out and about. So just want to go over, you know, we got the final portion of the Z box built. We got the overbought and oversold zone portion all working. I've shaken it out done the optimization work then now I added in the final part which is my aggressive or maybe what you could call early and then my primary signals so we're on a 4k screen so let's go take a look at those so let me move this over now I'll, I'm going to make these signals bigger they're just kind of standard ninja trader symbols for now but they do the job for my testing my final testing this week so this is a over uh, bought zone at some point after the z box concluded i did get a earlier what i call an aggressive signal so you know i can take a shot there that, that's an aggressive signal an aggressive entry uh, market made another push i got another overbought zone box z box or zone box i got a secondary i got another aggressive signal but then see the arrow there that's the primary that's the conservative entry point where we say okay now we have the confirmation to enter here's one right here now as i trade this and get more time with it uh, i myself typically work all the aggressive signals and i'll work areas of price build up a core position trade around it here was the diamond there you almost you will always at some point get a diamond before you get an arrow so there's a good sequential like the z box is your heads up you're in the zone of overbought or oversold the diamond is okay we're getting ready this thing's gonna get in signs it's mean reverting after some push and you know this price pivot in relation to other price pivots and the distance from the last one uh, we're likely to have some mean reversion maybe before some major trend continuation and then you we get our signals now let's see some more so i don't get a ton of signals every day on this particular time frame but here was one after the open uh, the other day and I will say the more narrow the Z-box is, the, usually the more powerful the mean reversion event is taking place at the moment. So there you can see there was the diamond. That was the early signal followed up by the primary signal. Now in these trades, if I wait and get under primary signal, I'm never ever using a stop more than the most recent high price pivot. Anytime it's, you know, one to one or greater, I already have stopped a break. Even if it just starts moshing around, I just, I call it good and get out. Uh, here was really good last night. I, I knew with the gap up open, I was going to work the overnight session. So last night I got, and I worked both aggressive entries. So I got in here on this up closing candle. I added on the next aggressive candle. And I already had plenty of position size on. I didn't need to enter at the primary. And I know I had first outs at the gap fill area. And I left a very little bit of amount on. And we ended up, you know, through the open, we never lifted and she sold right off. So I did pretty good there. I think my final one, I didn't take it out of this candle. It was somewhere right in here. Uh, I took out the finals. So that ended up being a pretty darn nice trade on hardly any position size. Okay, this morning we had one Z box confirm long. So here's the over uh, sold area. Market trying to bounce, stabilizes. We get the aggressive or early entry. Only a couple bars later, we get the uh, primary entry. And, you know, it's a holiday. So, yeah, we got a little bit of a bounce and it's chopped around a bit since then. Nothing too major going on. So anyhow, uh, that is the Z box. I've I got the first phase done, which was getting the box built. As I'm looking at recent price pivots, now I wanted to add my other portion where I confirm then 
where as these oversold and overbought areas are, are taking place, am I now safe to get in and work a mean reversion trade? Because, you know, you got to realize sometimes the indices have huge moves. I'm not going to be buying, 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 buying and hoping for a bounce. Screw that. I want to wait till I get my uh, either early or primary signal. Then I can get in, you know, use always a fixed stop or use the most recent price pivot. And any time I get to one to one or greater, move my stop to break even and see if I get a run. And, uh, you know, several times a week, you know, you're going to get some runs that uh, move pretty nice. Even little pops like that. Not bad. Not bad. Beautiful. Eh, not bad. So that is the Z box. I'm in final testing and deciding what all. Oh, here's a good situation. See, we had some selling. We never got any sort of uh, aggressive early signal. So the confirmation, the secondary math that I've combined said, no, yeah, it's over, it's oversold, but don't get in, don't get in. And then finally, as a matter of fact, that saved my butt the other day from not, you know, having a waste to trade. Never got any long uh, early entry with the diamond or the arrow, so I didn't touch that area. And then, you know, we had a pretty nice bounce out of that. That was a pretty ugly sell-off day. Now, the sell was just amazing. Got the early entry. I did catch some of this. Uh, matter of fact, I added to the short a little bit in here, just thinking that this thing was toast. And we we're coming into the open. I got a little push below that, and I was already out and done because I had stuff to go do. And then later I was like, wow, that baby really sold off. So anyhow, remember, we're in the holiday period. It's a little, you know, it's not the best trade volume right now. But uh, come beginning of January, things should really pick up again. So anyhow, there you have it. There's the Z box. I'm doing final testing now that I have all components all plugged in and running. Yes, the symbology is very small for now. That's just fine for me for testing. And uh, that's where we're at. So just want to give you an update. Uh, at some point this week, I'll make an announcement on what I'm going to decide to do with all of this. And uh, we'll go from there. So anyhow, I uh, hope you're all having a great holidays. Hope you had a Merry Christmas and have a great New Year ahead. But you'll have more updates from me before the uh, end of the year. Talk to you soon.